Uh, hi. Yeah, let's let's continue to talk about um, uh, Linux BPF. So you can write a Linux uh, BPF um, program uh, in uh, like uh, with with following four uh, languages. So you can write the BPF uh, uh, in the raw bytecode or the uh, BPF instruction set, or you can write BPF code in uh, restricted uh, C, uh, or you can write a BPF program with high level uh, in, in interpreting language uh, Python with a BCC, or you can write a BPF program with a Go line. Uh, which is called a Go BPF, and uh, yeah. So today I'm going to show you an example to write BPF BPF program in bytecode. So here is my uh, Linux uh, source code. So in the sample directory. We have an example here. So this is coming from the Linux kernel source sample. And uh, so this, this example is to uh, calculate the uh, TCP or UDP or ICMP packet, uh, calculate calculate the number of uh, TCP or UDP or ICMP packets. And uh, when you attach this uh, BPF program to a, a interface, uh, and then uh, this program will run and uh, to calculate the numbers and the display uh, in the terminal. So this, is, this program is uh, written in and the uh, uh, bytecode or the BPF instruction set. Uh, so here is the um, here is the function, uh, including the uh, bytecode instruction. Uh, BPF instruction set. So this is the this is the array of uh, BPF uh, instructions. And uh, so we have this instruction set, then you call this uh, BPF load, load BPF load program to load the uh, instruction set and uh, with type uh, socket filter. So there is a like a BPF program type. Uh, so this one we want to uh, attach to a socket. Uh, so this is socket filter type of a BPF program, and so this is the the array the instruction array set, and the the instruction count. Yeah, so pretty simple, right? So you have the instruction set and then load the instruction, and then here is you open up a raw socket uh, in the, to the uh, loop back interface and then attach the attach the um, uh, BPF program to the socket to the raw socket and uh, so we, we here when you load the BPF program it will re return a, a, a program file descriptor so you you basically you attach this file descriptor to the socket. And then here is uh, here is basically just a uh, 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 call BPF map uh, uh, lookup function to look up the uh, array the map uh, array uh, using the the protocol uh, protocol as a key and uh, get the value in the in the in the TCP count. So say if it's TCP uh, type TCP type packet and uh, look up uh, look up the TCP packet. 
or UDP pack or ICMP packet, right? So this is the main function. Uh, as you can see, it's just a, a run a pin uh, test, pin test to the local host. Yeah, look pretty straightforward, right? So let's run the uh, program. So we only pin local host, so loc local host, so we should only see the pin ICMP packet. Right, so it only shows the ICMP packet, number of ICMP packet going through the loopback interface, right? Yeah, so let's look at the, um, the, so this is just only a few bytecode instruction set. So we can, we can like uh, uh, maybe briefly explain uh, the instruction. So there is a, like a, this, there is like a, I think it's a 11 or 10 register and uh, in the in the BPF uh, instruction set. So this is the register one. This is the register six. So the register one um, point to the point to the um, uh, socket buffer. Uh, if if this uh, uh, BPF program is a socket uh, uh, type. And so the, the default context uh, is pointed by the register one, and uh, which is a socket buffer. So move the socket buffer. Uh, the socket buffer uh, contains the packet, right? So the 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 so this is like copy the socket buffer to register six uh, as a backup. So both reg Register one and register six pointed to oops pointed to the socket buffer. So this is a node the a node bytes uh, with a offset uh, isolate header plus the uh, IP protocol uh, offset, and uh, so this is just basically take the IP protocol. Uh, value and uh, uh, store it in register zero, and uh, so this is um, uh, uh, this is a register ten, uh, which is uh, by default uh, pointed to the uh, stack pointer, uh, or or they call it a frame pointer, so uh, stack base pointer. And uh, so uh, minus four bytes. So the stack pointer minus four bytes, uh, and then uh, assign the the protocol uh, to the to the stack uh, stack offset uh, four bytes. And uh, so, and this is like a, a copy. Uh, register 10 to register 2 and uh, the, yeah th this is uh, so and then also um, register register 2 uh, minus 4 bytes which is a register register to also point it to the to the to the protocol value uh, the socket buffer IP protocol value, and um, yeah. So this this is a uh, node the the MIP uh, file descriptor uh, to register one. Okay. And then, so this this instruction is a, a jump call, uh, call this BPF a map, map, a map lookup function uh, with the with the stack um, variable uh, register two uh, as a as a as a key uh, because this uh, register two pointed to the 
the the protocol. So lookup use this BPF map lookup function. Look look up look up the key uh, as a IP protocol. Look up the protocol as a as a key to get its value. And uh, so the this function the, the return value uh, the the return value will be ret uh, stored in register uh, zero. Uh, which is a return value. So register zero uh, store the uh, return value, and uh, so this jump call uh, says if uh, if uh, this return value equals zero, which means there is no such uh, uh, protocol, uh, then uh, jump uh, to instructions. Uh, so it will like uh, uh, skip two instructions. So we'll skip this instruction. And this instruction so uh, comes to this instruction basically just sign return value zero to uh, the register zero and then exit but uh, if it's not a if it's not a zero then continue this uh, to instruction which is uh, uh, it's find the uh, protocol and uh, the value is non-zero and then uh, store uh, value one to register one and then uh, do the add uh, store and add uh, uh, instruction uh, so it's basically uh, added the return value with the uh, register one which is one and then uh, assign it to uh, uh, register zero so which is like uh, added the added the value uh, based on the protocol key right so yeah and um, there if you want to know more this uh, how this uh, uh, this uh, instructions you can go to the go the kernel has a uh, uh, in the kernel.org uh, documentation under the networking Network current. Okay, so I can show you here. So under the documentation networking, so filter. Uh, this document uh, included all the instru instruction set and uh, the uh, register and uh, yeah, BPF. Uh, internal something yeah so it's BPF uh, kernel internals so in, in this instruction uh, in this here you can see all the uh, all the internal BPF kernel internals so it, it uh, uh, it's fun to read this through and um, yeah, and uh, say so here. Here it's uh, there is a like ten register, and the register zero is the return value from in kernel function. Uh, so this is the return value. Register zero returns a return value, and uh, register one to five uh, is the is the arguments. Uh, from BPF program to in kernel function. So if you have a kernel in function, uh, in, in kernel function, and this is the arguments, and this is uh, the call saved registers, and uh, uh, rest of ten says bring pointer to access the stack. Yeah, and uh, so there is a, like a one to one map to uh, x eighty six. Uh, assembly instruction uh, from so like here it says uh, uh, 64 bit architectures and for uh, for uh, x86 so there's a like a one uh, one to one map relations like uh, the rex to zero is uh, mapped to the uh, RAX register, which is the return value for for return register return 
value for x86 uh, 64 and uh, yeah so one to one map relations uh, yeah so this is a very informational uh, about uh, how um, uh, how it uh, how how you write the uh, write the BPF code in raw instruction, BPF in raw BPF BPF instruction. Yeah. So and uh, you, if you have enough uh, expert knowledge about the BPF instruction, uh, and uh, I'm still learning, and it it's it's a uh, it's not easy to write uh, the in instruction the raw instruction set. So for example, uh, there, um, uh, there is some uh, expert, uh, BPF expert, uh, who can write uh, uh, instruction, who can write an instruction like this. Uh, so this is I, I, I take from the internet. And they can write a very uh, complicated instruction, and um, to um, so this is a uh, this is a program that can show a, a, a memory uh, doing the spectral attack. So anyway, yeah, that's that's a complicated topic. Uh, I'm still. Uh, learning and uh, but uh, it, it's a very cool cool technique to use BPF code to uh, show a, a process or kernel memory content you know like password or something uh, uh, with the specter CPU specter attack and uh, yeah I, I, I'm just start to learn it and yeah. Anyway, so next time I can show you the how to write BPF code in the uh, in a restricted uh, C. So actually, with the restricted C program. So actually, the with the same program, um, with the same program, you can write in the C instead of uh, uh, the raw instruction set. So with the C, just write like this, and then so this is a kernel part, and uh, with the user part, uh, yeah, it, it's basically the same, but you write it in in a, in a C. Okay, so that's for now. Thank you.